If you turn over the page in your exam and this is question three, you would probably start panicking. But let me tell you, when you know how to do it and when you know your shapes specifically, it's really not too bad. We can do it very quickly. Let's have a look. The question says that ABCD is a parallelogram, EDC is a straight line, and F is the point on AD such that BFE is a straight line. We're told that angle EFD is 35, that's this one up here. Angle DCB is 75, this one down here. And we're asked to show that angle ABF, ABF, that's gonna be this one here, is equal to 70 degrees. So how are we going to do it? It does say to give a reason for each stage of our working as well. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that if I want to work out angle ABF, then it would be super helpful if I had this angle here and this angle here, because if I did, then I could use the fact that the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So how can I work out these two? Well, first off, looking at this one, we can see that this is vertically opposite to this angle here, angle EFD. So we can actually say that this one is going to be 35 degrees. Why? Because vertically opposite angles are equal. Now, what about this angle here? Because this is the next one we want if we want to work out angle ABF. Well, we can actually say that this angle is 75. Now, why can we say that it's 75? We can say that it's 75 because this angle here is 75 and opposite angles in a parallelogram have to be the same. So this angle here is 75. Finally, how can we work out this angle here? We know that our angles in a triangle add up to 180. So we can do 180 minus 75 minus 35 and if we did that, it would in fact give us 70, showing that angle ABF is 70. 